Hello beautiful people and welcome to the first topic I want to discuss. First of all, I want to thank you so much for the comments you left on last video, the encouragement and the advice you gave me, and it made me want to make the videos that much more. So I hope you're excited as much as I am. Let's get right into it. Take 12. Action! The topic today revolves around my immigration experience. To those of you who might not know, I moved from Jordan to Canada in 2017 with my family. So this immigration experience was life-changing for me personally and for my family as well because it changed life in all aspects financially, socially, education, uh, lifestyle, responsibilities, uh, even the food we eat and it took a toll on all of us. So if you just want to imagine for a moment what I'm talking about think of the supermarket you go to in your neighborhood you might know the cashier, you might know the boss, you know the things you want to get and where they're placed exactly and imagine you move to a new neighborhood. You, you need a, a bit of time to adjust, to know your surroundings and uh, okay, get used to this supermarket, to get used to this place and that place. And apply that to all aspects of life, just a new country. Plus, on top of all of that, the two most important things for me were friends and family. And these are the two things I miss the most. So for example, I would see my friends posting pictures or sharing to the group that they went to that place or went on a hangout and I started feeling it and the distance and that I'm not part of that anymore. And it hit me so hard when I saw the group picture change from where I was in it and all of my friends were around me to the point where all of them are there and I'm not in the picture. And on that day, I won't lie to you, I started crying. However, despite all of this, I still thank God that I came here. And you might ask why. Let me tell you. First, it was like a restart button for my life. It made me get off that train of life, if you want, and just uh, reflect, assess where I am, and uh, made me ask myself questions like, am I doing the right thing? What do I want to do? And secondly, there's this quote in Arabic that says And I think it's also uh, in English and it translates to The human doesn't realize the value of the thing he has until he loses it. And for me, that was majorly my family and my friends. And finally, memories became so valuable and heartwarming. And all of this together made me appreciate the things I have, the events I went through in life, and most importantly, the people I have. Shout out to you, you know who you are. So, this leads me to the purpose of this video. Because during these times, many of us might not be able to see people we want to see. We might uh, want to go back to the life we had, the normal life, going to school or to work. However, I believe that everything happens for a reason, and Every stage in life is different. We should never look back to how life was and think that that was normal. Instead, we should think of how we can make the best out of what we are living in at the moment because every stage in life has its positives and negatives. So let's think of the beautiful memories and times we had and hope for better ones to come. Simply said, let's live positively. That's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. If you have anything to share, anything to say, you can put them down in the comments. I'll see you next week.